Hiya, I'm Joe from Burroughs Toyota at Rotherham and I'm going to show you how to move the seat, the steering wheel and the mirrors on the CHR. Follow me. So in the CHR, it is very similar to all our other vehicles, apart from the little lever is below the steering wheel here. All you do is flick the lever down. You can choose whether you want the steering wheel in or out, down or up. Once you've got it into position, again, you grab the little toggle under the steering wheel and flick it back up and that'll be solid. Once your steering wheel's in position, then you can then focus on your seat. So you've got the little lever under your seat, you pull that up and you can choose back or forward. Once that's in position, you've got a little ratchet here to pump the seat up or pump the seat down, depending on how high you want the seat. You've got the lumbar support here, which will move the lumbar support in or the lumbar support out to get you nice and comfy. And you've also got the recline lever here. So if you pull that recline lever up, you can chill out or you can get into a proper driving position. Using the mirrors, once you're all set, you've got a little dial here. So that's currently in neutral and won't move. If you move it to the right hand side, you'll be able to move right, left, up, down, and choose the position of your right and side mirror. Again, back to neutral. If you want to move the left and side mirror, the passenger side, move it to the left, left, right, up and down. Get the mirrors in the position that you like and then move back to the center, back to neutral so you can't move that. To the right hand side of that, on this specific vehicle, if you wanted to move the mirrors in and you was going for a narrow gap, you can click the front button and the mirrors will automatically move in. You can put them back into automatic. So what that means, if you get out of the car, you lock the car, the mirrors will move in. When you open the car, they'll move out. And if you flick it to the other side, the mirrors will be locked. So when you get out of the car and you lock it, the mirrors won't move. It is always advisable to leave them on the automatic just in case you're, on a narrow, you're parking on a narrow alleyway or a narrow street. 